In today's video, we go to the Manatee Festival in Crystal River, Florida, and of course, we see plenty of manatee at the Three Sister Spring, among other things. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. This video is sponsored by Custom Covers. Well, here we are at um, Crystal Isles RV Resort. And this is the, the joke of a site they have given us here. I guess I'm, I'm gonna start lying about my length because look at it. It's like, it's like a triangle of a site and all we get is a little sliver of, of lakefront view. Who's not paying any attention to me. Okay, let's go to town. Hmm, I think I made a wrong turn here. It turns out this weekend they are celebrating the Manatee Festival. So this whole area, you know, the Heritage Village is kind of off limits uh, tonight. And yeah, I don't think we were supposed to be going through these streets right here. Okay. Plan B. I've heard of this place called the Crab Plant, and they are supposed to have excellent seafood. The Crab Plant. Hmm, yeah, the crab chowder is excellent. Crab cakes. Yeah, they are great too. And so is the view, right here by the water. Our grand total. And a very serious pelican. It is so peaceful out here. Since it is a Friday evening, I take advantage of the scenic surroundings and make my weekly YouTube live video, 6 p.m. Eastern, like every Friday. Fly, Pelican! <laughs> I love how they land, too. Maybe he'll start flying in a minute now. Actually, you know what I'm doing? I'm taking, I'm making a live a broadcast on YouTube. We go next door, or, uh, across the marina rather, to the Cracker Bar. Very lively. There's the crab plant, where we just ate. Okay, let's go. We're tired. Maybe we'll come back tomorrow. It is a huge RV park. Well, good night. Well, good morning from our muddy campsite. Today, we're going to the festival, the Manatee Festival. Pretty cool. They have these uh, shuttle buses here that take you from the Crystal River Mall to downtown. Very convenient. And it is a very short ride. 
is cloudy and a chilly morning here uh, for Florida anyways, uh, but it is great for manatee viewing because when it is cold, they come into the spring, which is at a steady 72 degrees year long. We, however, get some black coffee to warm up and wake up. Isn't this the same stuff they have at the RV show? We have an antique vehicle here. It's a Victorian tiny house. There's even a petting zoo. Yeah, all kinds of stuff here at the festival, but what we really want to do is go see the manatees. Not this ones, the, the real ones. And there's the Heritage Museum, the former city hall, I guess. This is, by the way, another free shuttle that takes us to the nearby Three Sisters Springs, where all the manatees come to hang out in the cold weather. It is a beautiful spring. Uh, we walk around on this boardwalk, uh, and there. There are some people swimming with the manatees, it's another tour, and there are several companies that will offer it, that kind of tour to you. Okay, let's go back. Uh, that's where all the manatees come in, through this uh, canal, I guess. Well, it's getting crowded. There they are. Check them out. <laughs> it looks beautiful and it's not even sunny. We keep walking on the boardwalk, watching random manatees here and there, and there is a family coming into the spring. By the way, they all come into the spring through this narrow canal right here. And they are such unusual creatures, aren't they? Even though they look fat, we learned that they're actually not. They just have a very large rib cage. And that's why they are so sensitive to cold temperatures. You know, that's why they come into these springs every winter through this narrow canal. Check it out. It barely fits between those pylons. And over there, they keep swimming with the manatees. It would be cool to like rent a canoe or, or a kayak some other time, perhaps. Look at them all right there, like, like waiting to get into the spring. Okay, let's go back. Now, before we continue, let me tell you about our brand new sponsor, Custom Covers. These steel covers keep your RV protected and out of the weather when you are not using it, and they come in a variety of colors. Available in 29 states with a 2-4 to four week lead time. Give Lisa a call at 501-455-4442 and be sure to ask about the special traveling rubber discount for your RV and camper covers. Okay, let's uh, get a drink and a bite to eat here at Norton's. It is kind of early so the place is not too crowded yet. They have a beer called Mad Manatee. And we have the fish dip, you know, so we can eat something else later. Strange to see, you know, in Florida, everybody all bundled up. It usually doesn't get this cold down here, and it is in the 40s today. Barbecue sauces. 
I thought we were in Florida. But it's 48 degrees. What's up with that? We walk towards the music. And I hear music. Back to school So much seafood. The DJ. Hmm, Irish pub. And we're back by the Heritage Village, uh, the area where we wanted to go last night and everything was closed down because they were setting up for the festival. I love looking at antique cars and now mm, there is a line to tour the tiny house. Let's go into the Karma Cottage here, buy some incense maybe. There is a bunch of cool stuff in here. I feel much better now. Uh, there is this other area with live music. It is called the acoustic stage and I feel kind of sorry for this uh, talented young woman playing the guitar in the bitter cold, well not that bitter but it is Florida we're talking about. We get the gloves and the scarves out of storage whenever it drops down to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Save the manatee.org. Don't you think there are plenty of manatee? Like well, yeah, they are actually listed as an endangered species. Let's go into the Irish pub. Perfectly served Guinness. We continue. Oh gosh. <laughs> Look, Matruskas. This is like a pier here. That's where the festival is happening. And that's right there where I did my live video on Friday, yesterday. And they have another band playing now. We're here at the main stage. Let's continue walking to warm up as it is still a cold day in Florida. There's a fountain. The fountain of youth. Cafe. Gotta have some coffee. And just as we are about to go back to the RV, <laughs> the sun comes out. It's a miracle. The shuttle takes us back to the car. We decide to end the night at the highly recommended Vintage and Fifth. Seems fancy. How about some bubbly? We get some fried green tomatoes and of course a Prosecco. Well, it looks like we're closing down the place. 
we are going to call it a night because tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow we are going to see the mermaids at Wikiwachi Springs, among other things. But before that, let's fly the drone a little bit. By the way, Wikiwachi, that's gonna be the next video. If you have enjoyed traveling with us, make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos. Also, share it with your friends, spread the word and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. <laughs>